Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Trolls. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign. It is time to continue our sweep of the alien facilities. Endgame is along upon us and we're really trying to win against all of the rulers, all of the other new factions and I've, I'm just trying to stay alive really. Operation Star Prince is a pretty hardcore 31 uh, men uh, mission. We're fighting ethereals here. Uh, these are my new absolute uh, most hated enemies. Can summon quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of uh, troopers, and do have mind control. So this will be fun. Uh, plus, there is an extremely powerful and aggravating enemy there. I should hence, uh, since we're fighting against uh, the ethereals, swap out the mind shield. I'm wondering if I should equally, since there are not so many, since there are not so many um, mechanical units, just go with um, all defense, shield bearer, bio lost, bio bleeder. Yeah, I think that's the better choice. So hogbite is anyways immune against anything. Sonar is quite immune, and we have a lot of hit points on all of them. Shadow is just going to do his thing and uh, we're going to use the highest damage uh, from the Viper rounds to just make the banish incredibly painful. Cannon hopefully kills everybody as always and the Diddy G is back in the house. We got two of uh, the turrets with us. They are better than Mimic Beacons as they are sometimes um, taking damage. In that case, they are worse than uh, Mimic Beacons. They are not drawing all of the aggro, but they can shoot twice if 12 hit points and armor uh, reasonably good stats. So I actually like uh, them. They are more on the upper end of uh, the power level, basically giving up a slot for kind of a double agent type of enemy, um, or companion rather. Okay, well, that is that. 31 enemies, uh, including Ethereals. I hope uh, that we can scout out the ethereals well in advance, take a couple of pot shots against them and uh, get them down before they can start summoning. That at least would be my tactic so far. Going to see how well that is going to work out. Wish me luck. Good, we landed and fortune smiled upon us as we get an elite purge trooper. Those guys are busted as well. I mean, look at that. Extra plating, half damage from explosives, steady hand, uh, gets bonus dodge chance if you moved last turn. Momentum, that is. Lost Slayer. Okay, fair enough. Got Salvo with his napalm grenades. Got Implacable. Volatile mix for extra damage and grants one damage against flank enemies wow okay well that guy is indeed quite strong i mean arguably not as strong as others but the napalm grenade definitely is good what's the size of it eh, moderate okay cool good our scout will do exactly what she is what he is supposed to do Well, warren aka shadow is diving into the shadows and i would like to block right over here i go what i'm needed that way no one can come up Perch Trooper is not concealed. Everybody else is. Moving on target location. So we're being careful with that Perch Trooper. I think we can pull them. Let's double check first what we can and cannot do. Nah, next turn. 
Not this turn. We can then also Got it. put our turrets down. Look to the G for now. Can stand up here. That's fine. Sona front lines. Let's do this. We've got a hostile squad here. Okay. More enemies. No, 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 no. Well, he's panicked, but we apparently. We expect our soldiers to feel the strain of combat eventually. We just have to give them enough time to recover properly. Apparently, not so badly panicked. I think he's still hidden. That perch trooper. Roger. I've got my eyes on. I think we're okay. Got it covered. Nice. They do have these little lights. That's an awesome graphic. I really like the new units. They are fantastic. The bio ones are incredibly well animated, super high quality models. And also the attention to detail, this little screen here. Nice little extra helmets, good color, uh, color toning. And then uh, the, the bio gas that is coming out of them. All right, come on. Well, 30 units, uh, 30 enemies always slows down the enemy movement phase quite a bit. Okay, so we could definitely hit both of them for the time being. Let's get a kill zone established. This here will trigger Bladestorm at least twice. Or potentially triggering that other pack as well, but that's okay. All right. Well, we have hit. Uh, we we got focus for it and momentum. There we go. I was hoping for a bit more. We have nothing to fear. Oiler gets one. We're moving down. Moving to designated coordinates. Sonar is good to go. That's a solid hit. Enemy down. That's a kill. We got a placable going. All 
right, that should trigger a death from above. Yep, it does. Very good. These guys here are completely scared with tactical analysis. We want to keep a good eye on them, which is why we're blocking their only way to high ground. That means they need to funnel through that low ground section. Trooper moves up. And I think it's fair. To move over here. Well, we do have Untouchable, and as long as uh, that other pack, which I just saw up here, is not triggering, we should be fine. Ogbite moves back. We're eight protocoling, mainly if there is a second shot or anything, Sonar doesn't need to be in trouble. Okay, the other pack is definitely behind, so this should not be a problem. Let's try to take control. Good, very good. Okay, that fear of Max starts getting on my nerve. So we have a massive Biomech and a Biomech Trooper, which seems to be like a XCOM 1 Mech Trooper. And just a couple of Bio Assaults. Okay, we're, we're good. Cannon is overwatching. I don't want to take shots yet with the turret. Let's just let it be hacked. I think they will, will not trigger because they don't detect it to be hacked. Nope, they changed that as well. Nice, the mech trooper immediately takes a couple of shots here. Down to 15 hit points after being hit twice. Lovely. And I don't know what that is. There's a Biozerker, but I've also seen Viper Prince. Okay, we're fighting against the Viper Prince. Couple of Viper Hatchlings. Okay, well, so far so good. I mean, we knew that once we get the turret, we would effectively pull almost uh, half of the map, but that was to be expected. 
That's a miss. That's a hit. And a kill. Good job. Keep on going. Come on. That should have been in the kill zone. But somehow it didn't work out. Okay, well, we got a mech trooper and a lots of other interesting enemies here. 15. Well, look at that. I think we're okay with just killing it. Huge damage on our weapon now. Unfortunately, the capacitator discharge does not reach all the way to here. Well, we could move up, I suppose, and then throw the shrapnel and hit it. That could work. Fortunately, this here is blocking line of sight, elsewise Dilly G would have a perfect position. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, we could reach parts of them. I mean, look, we could go to here and hit all of them. Could also very aggressively move forward to here, then hit them. That's nah, asking for too much. Let's play it calm and collected. We have full cover and we have the by far better position. 12 to 14, that's not a 100% kill. Perch Trooper is one of our frontliners and we still have this beautiful grenade. These guys are burning now. Wait a second. That should have been a kill. Hmm. Alright, stupid me. Should have just... Use talk by... Okay, luckily Grell also has death from above.
good. Sonar. Moves up. Preps this guy. And by prepping, we really, we really meant to say very much kills that guy. All right, Anderson gets uh, to full focus. Next turn, we're going to summon the um, um, his clone. A ghost. I might as well start uh, to collect a couple of souls here. Wow, the weapons are dealing a lot of damage. I love it. By the way, this guy would have been dead anyways because of... Because of of uh, blade storm putting our salad turrets out Okay, that didn't work out well. Puts up shield wall. Yeah, that turret is going to go down. Berserker uh, sees us and is now running in our direction. Okay, cool. By assault trooper. We're going to use a lot of just summonings, turrets, and so on to deal with this. And. The prince starts to engage on us. Interesting. Luckily, I didn't bring the frost grenade because I would have been disappointed. I figured there is a chance that we're fighting against uh, the another frost cho uh, alien ruler, and they seem to be immune against the frost grenades. The ethereal is back there. Okay. Let me think. How do we start pulling him? I know that cannon would be the one moving would trigger a reaction from him. Oh, 
I mean, look, Hawkbite could theoretically charge in, but even for Hawkbite standards, that's a bit suicidal. You would need to get back afterwards. Hmm. And it's much better if he's here and I can grind him down with uh, with blade storm attacks. Don't want to use him yet. I think really the quote unquote easiest way to deal with that. Potentially really just going in. This would kill our own cover. This might work. It would definitely shred him well. Let's try that. All right, moving up. Advanced teamwork. This is going to be Rupture. Very solid hit. Is this guy not going to fight back? I don't understand. We have more shredding over here with Sonar. Apparently they, he does not have ruler reactions. I mean, he seems straight up dead now. Okay. Well, they are not really on the same level as the other rulers. Okay, well, that was a bit anticlimactic. Let's shred that other guy. Running and gunning. On move. Sona moves up. Nice hit. Good job. bit of a deflection I don't like that he can apparently deflect shots that he isn't even aware of so it does not work like dodge it just is flat up deflection
Good, summoning the Templar Ghost. We have plenty of firepower. Good, moving up with uh, the Perch Trooper to have another target available. And let's make him overwatch because uh, that will attract attention. Shield gone, overwatch gone. Good, Templar's Ghost is moving up. Could theoretically Void Conduit him. But I think we'll not do that. So far no one has taken any damage. course with the exception of that poor little turret there nice he's burning These, by the way, if they're on the rooftop, they make for decent targets for Dilly G. Couple of uh, further reinforcements here. All right. They bring a few chrysalids. This would be the point in time where, if it wouldn't be for the main team, I would be incredibly afraid. But luckily, we do have a strong main team. Biozerker, these guys are also nasty. As you wish. Well, the tower is gone. The Biozerker is maybe falling into Berserker rage and would go for his own friends. Who knows? But things have just begun to become interesting. So Gremlin heal on Shadow. Shadow definitely is going to take a chill pill. Moves fully away. Gets back into the shadows. And moves over here. Folks says I am to obey. Good. 
But we don't want to stand there. This is a perfect breeding ground for for kill zones if we had them available. Good, turret is reloading. Euler does his little Euler things. There you go. AKA spamming death from above. We're using our ghost, Templar ghost. To get up here. Oh, there is a collector drone. Nice. Well, I can tell you who Ready to go. likely has a good sight on it. Nope. Not, surprisingly. That hill here seems to be incredibly in the way. Or oh, this tree, I don't know what it is. What we can do though is we can start hitting that Biozerker. Dead eye for 14. Even with his armor generation, that should be just fine. Sonar moves up. And we have implacable and untouchable. Are there so many enemies that could hit us? You never know, right? Um, I mean, standing in front here. Hmm. I mean, we could position ourselves out of line of sight, but then they would spawn in. They get an action. Well, could also stand here if they jump down. It wouldn't be bad like if they jump down left right they would get a hit i think that's okay i don't want our real team to take damage uh, first and foremost we should let everybody else take damage all right hog bite Moves up solidly. I'll keep a watchful eye. Euler gets the threat assessment for some extra overwatches. We're reloading. In the meantime, the turrets are moving up. They are in range as well and can overwatch. Templar Ghost hungers down to be a difficult target. Euler has two overwatches going. Let's see what they are bringing. Mambas and Demolisher. Okay, well. Bring it on, bitch. Who's keeping score? Good, the...
the Overwatch uh, there and the Blade Storm definitely helped us. Thirteen points of damage. Whoa, those fanatics uh, hit very hard. So that was the Perch Trooper. Could have used him more defensively, admittedly. You will regret your resistance. I would like to keep the Templar Ghost there for as long as possible. By Zerker. Takes a nice slash. And then misses. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, and Hawkbutt has even more hit points and is better. This is just his ghost taking all of the heat. Okay, so far so good. What are we going to do? It's only one remote start. That's a bit far away. I think in order to meaningfully contribute, let's... Hit that Berserker, shred it a bit. Down to 14, which means 16 damage would be the minimum. Okay, softening up these guys and afterwards softening up the Berserk. We still got two free reloads. Fifteen, this guy is dead. This guy is dead. Can't... Well, I could hit him, but it's a bit too far. Definitely would love to stay in the front line here. We could attack the Crusader. Get back to full. I think there, there were a few overwatches. Is this guy with his overwatch? 
going to hit us. I don't think so. Ogbite sprints in. Well, luckily, if you're sprinting, the chance of being hit is, relatively speaking, low. More momentum, more focus, more everything. Another bio zerker, interesting. Can't hit that other guy, the Fanatic Crusader. Sonar moves up. Fanatic Crusader. Enemy is still up. Solid miss. Well. Reloaded. I think he's nicely positioned here. Okpa just moves out. Sonar and half cover is a bit dangerous, and we really don't want that. Might as well move to here. Good. Advent Spark. If we can take control, that would be great. 50-50. Sounds good to me. Alright, another Mimic Beacon for us. Yes, they will definitely go for the Mac. Okay, Selected Turret, Reload, um, Overwatches. I think we can easily get to here. Still see that Crusader, and the good part about the Templar is with Void Conduit, it can heal itself. Tendrils, that's crowd control right there. And I will start messing up that other mech. comes closer it'll die good 
Good. We have so many layers of defense in Hogbite in the front line. Is super tanky. Plus, has the ability to uh, to theoretically use the sustain. Of course, if they go for our turrets, that is nasty. You're not telling me that you're taking him over what? Why, whenever I do kill zone, it seems to not work out as I want it. They are going for the mech, which is fine. This here, by the way, would have been a perfect kill zone. Oh, he counterattacks. Even on a successful attack. Um, okay. Your form is fragile. And the good old Ethereal. Good, so much for our Mimic Beacon. The guy just went down. Crazy amount of enemies is trying to spawn in. Time for Reaper. Good. Sonar. Freeze everything up. do one thing after the other we're again starting up here daily g a little bit of lightning hands and teaching this guy a lesson Good. This is just for scouting purpose, nothing more. Because we can now see the biomac. One more free reload is what we do have. 11 hit points, we're not doing enough damage. Definitely serial. Fifteen, that's a kill. That's 
But the difference between Death from Above and Serial is Serial would refund both of the actions, which means I can theoretically go deeper into the magazine if needed. This here should not hurt Hogbite. Um, let's start with him. All right. Berserker takes a huge hit. Should have potentially killed that other guy first. Thirteen hit points. Yeah, should have killed him first. Silate turret. Tries to set everybody up. Good, we're just crowd controlling the shield bearer for now. That's good enough for the ghost. Now we need some more damage on those little bastards here. Hogbite gets full focus, and we're just standing here with um, Perry. They can come in, and that's fine. Do we need to heal anyone? Am I going to heal that turret? If I heal anyone, then it's the ghost. Hair trigger. She also has death from above, so that's fine. Overwatch with a guardian. We could reload and go for kill zone, which I think would not be too bad because that would be three shots. Albeit to everybody who's like slowly moving here. I think that's okay. Let's try to do that. I know there is one, might be a Bio Viper, one enemy that wants to get around this corner, but it's fine. Sonar moves out of the way very much. I don't want to be spotted out, hence we're just going to go back here. Safe spot. Good enough. The Ethereal will get that guy sooner than later. Shield Barrow takes more damage. Void Conduit is hardcore uh, against single enemies. And since uh, we got more of those now, it actually works quite well. So he took eight points of damage. 
through all of his armor. Lightning reflexes, okay. Well, the explosion shouldn't do any damage. Nope. Because Hogbite is immune to it. And if they want to deal with uh, the ghost, then that is fine by me as well. Unfortunately, Lightning Reflex is counters that. Good, one of the turrets is down. Okay, fair enough. Try to go for the ghost. I don't care. Very good. Very good. So far, everything works according to plan. We have a nice little kill zone. And things are just Gucci. Okay, we can deal with that in a second. Four starters. The Ethereal is out of line of sight for cannon. I don't like that at all. Good, so that's a kill. Thank you. Oh wow, did we break the game again? Let me fix that. Okay, back after we wonderfully, in a wonderful fashion, crashed the, the game. Let's try this again. Big deal. One down. Thousands to go. Dead eye. Getting that bio viper. Ooh, nice crit. 24 points of damage. We got a new elite bio trooper there. Trying to set him up, but unfortunately that didn't work out. Bio trooper takes a shot, which is good.
I'm thinking about pull, uh, pulling Euler a little bit back because I can already see how this is going. That guy rolls in and mind controls this and I don't want that to happen at all. Move an oiler back. If I drop here, kill one, two, three, four. Uh, getting around this hill is a problem. We do have a lot of movement, so it should be fine. The other option is to drop down here. Getting back behind that hill would be the other option. Anyways, 12 hit points. That's the kill. Which triggers untouchable and implacable. And like I predicted, we can get back. Can't really block at the moment. Sonar is just moving out. Can we kill someone? No, we cannot. We wouldn't have... I don't know, would we have enough to run back? Potentially. We're rel relatively fast at the moment. I think we should be fine. I'm pretty sure we should be fine. Might take a shot or two. Surprise! He was a bio faceless one all along. Good. This here is a really nice uh, pocket. I tell you what, uh, can cannon overwatch from here? Unlikely that he's going to see anyone. Maybe, who knows? So might as well aid protocol. Krell takes an overwatch. This turret takes an overwatch. We're hunkering down in order to be difficult to hit. Collect the drone, 12 points of damage. Dead eye. That's a miss. That's a miss. Okay. We have thinned out the pack. Not many more remain. Well, that mind control will not do you any good, my, my dude. What? Mind... You're kidding me, right? This is not real life. We fight as one. This is some sort of joke. We... Okay, he can mind control Templar Ghosts. <laughs> that is stupid on many, many levels.
Good. Making sure that I can hit the claymore. This is so stupid. Unbelievable. Hmm. We'll try something. Position confirmed. Moving up. How many enemies do we have here? Not many. Could we have implacable? Should allow us to get uh, to go in if needed. Hogbite moves in. Oh, that guy is vulnerable against melee attacks. That's good to know, because I know someone who is going to die next round. I hope it's worth it. Good, we're overwatching. Relis overwatching, reload overwatch. I want to keep the goals if possible. Reload overwatch. And this is double blade storm. All right, now I know how to deal with that stupid ethereal. Fantastic. Okay, I think we've killed every single one. Pretty sure we we did. Good, Sonar moves up, nothing to be seen here. I'm all over. Moving up, moving up. Moving into position with our Reaper. Celated turret is moving up. The ghost is moving up as a walking mimic beacon and Dilly G is definitely moving up. 
That was a pretty clean mission. I like the positioning. It was definitely interesting to see how all of the aliens were uh, piling in or trying to get us down. And then we just keep this here as a funnel. Prime team has so much firepower. Alright, Dilly moves up. We don't need any experience. We can simply extract everybody and call it a day. Funny because uh, the Sedated Turret also extracted. <laughs> but that's cool. Good, very good mission. I'm happy. That's definitely how the Prime team should uh, interact. Two turrets seems to be a sweet spot, and if they're on high ground, uh, that works out well. I mean, everybody pulled their weight. Dil uh, Dilly G on top. Um, I think scored almost the most kills. Euler, fantastic with the overwatches. The only thing that was unfortunate is that kill zones both times did not work out. Both of the frontliners, Sonar and Hawkbite, absolutely fucking lootly fantastic. And Grail uh, with Guardian, which always triggered. Uh, we didn't even need to go through all of the healing. Enablement of uh, the others, really solid. So I am happy about the team. If we enhance that by a maximized psi operative that's going to be a scary combination think about it you take over one of uh, the mechs and um, uh, on parallel you're also dominating another enemy like one of these omni zerkers who is uh, regenerating and gaining armor from missed shots you give him um, an aid protocol and then all of the enemies are just shooting at him like crazy miss 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 and that thing gets 30 armor very good superior repeater but even more importantly vince uh, viper prince chromedium's uh, corpse it's the second Viper Prince. I think there are two more. One more Viper Princess and one more Viper Prince. It's interesting that they filled all of the facilities. Those are children of, um, of the Viper King. Or children of the Frost. Whatever it was called. Uh, Definitely an interesting mod. Okay, now we're not out of the woods yet. Because next time we're going right to the next mission. Uh, no rest for the wicked. Not in this campaign. It's time for New, new India Operation Doom Mother. Uh, which will be the exact opposite of what you've seen. Uh, instead of top tier equipped top uh, competent uh, operatives it's going to be the c team if you are enjoying this as much as i do uh, leave a thumbs up i don't uh, have a great um, a great punchline for the like um, today just hit the like button and see you in the next episode take care bye bye